What's going on everybody? It's your boy, Justin Norman. I hope you feel great wherever you are in the world. Today, we're gonna focus on using a phenomenal plugin that comes with Cakewalk by BandLab that's gonna allow you to mix your vocals a lot easier right from the comfort of your home. Let's get right into it. All right, so I'm right in front of a new project in Cakewalk by BandLab. I have this audio that I extracted from a song that I'm working on and I just took the vocal track. This is a scratch vocal track. I'm gonna import this into Cakewalk, and then I'm gonna show you this amazing plugin called the VX64 Vocal Strip. All right, first let's go to File, go to Import, go to Audio, all right, and I'm gonna look for it. It is in my music folder. Go to Music, and it should be, all right, here it is right here, all right? And this is a mono track, so it's gonna be imported. All right, here's the audio. Here's what it sounds like. I'm sorry. Somebody tell me what to do when I can't get over you. All right, so you hear the audio, you can hear that it's low. It's, you know, it sounds all right, but it's not quite in our face. It doesn't give me the presence that I'm really looking for for this vocal. So I want to go ahead and use this VX64 to try to get a better sound with it. effects. I'm gonna insert audio effects. I'm gonna to go to the VX64 vocal strip, and this is what it looks like. It's an amazing plugin, you all. So let me show you some of the features quickly that it has on here. So first of all, you have saturation, which is going input, and then you have saturation going output. You have a de-esser, which you really need to use if you're a person that pronounces consonants like me, which I really do. So I'm gonna be using this de -esser. There's a doubler on here that really works well. I really love to use this, you know, every now and then on vocals, but I love to use it on, you know, instruments or especially background vocals to make it sound wider and more present. All right, you have a compan, which is a combination of expand and compression. Now you have a tube equalizer, and then you have saturation that you can include on each of the bands. So that's great. And then you have a delay which is at the bottom. You have sync, which you can sync it perfectly in time with your song. And I'm gonna show you how that works now because this song should be at 100 BPM. All right, let me press that. Sorry, you hear my keyboard making all that noise. All right, my uh, desk rather, making all that noise. And you have the time, you have the feedback, all right? You have the level and you have a filter mode and you have a cutoff. So I'm gonna show you how all these work. And the great thing about this, you can reroute these however you want. I can slide this one over there. I can slide it back where it is. So, all right, you'll see this is de -esser. This is compan, that's equalizer, that's doubler, and that's delay, all right? So let's get with it. Let's see what the, we can do with this vocal to make it sound better. And this is just listening to it by itself. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna highlight just a section and loop it. Somebody tell me what to do. First thing I'm gonna start off when with I is can't a de get over you, and I don't wanna lose my cool. Yeah. Okay, and then I can stop it right there. And if you put on this listen button, it's gonna allow you to actually hear those frequencies where those all that good stuff is coming in at. All right, so I'm gonna listen right now. Okay, and I can tell right there, it's a lot of siblings coming up. I can raise the def up, and I can take the listen off. Hey, somebody tell me what to say, though I've lost you anyway. Now, if you take it all the way up, it's gonna make it really muddy, and you might cut off some of your siblings. You don't want all of it cut off, you just want it to be controlled. I love you, even though you don't believe me, it's true. Okay, you can tell I was a little flat right there. That's why I, this is just a scratch track, all right? So um, I've got another video that will come out um, probably a few days after this on Monday, hopefully, and then you'll be able to hear exactly where this is coming from. You'll hear like the entire song, or not the entire song, but what I've worked on so far. All right, in Compand, all right, there is Expand and Compression. So let's see when we add both of those on, let's see what we get with this. A, 
All I have is one question, one question. Just listen, just listen to me. Listen to me, can't get over you. And I don't want to lose my cool. Hey, somebody tell me what to say. Though I've lost you anyway, I still want to stay my case. Yeah, you can hear the difference when you know use I it. Still love you. Ratio. Even though you don't believe right, me, so one to it's one, true. Nothing is happening. Hey, all I have is one question, one question. Just listen, just listen to me. Just threshold. Listen to me, can't get over you. Russian. And I don't want to lose my cool. Hey, somebody tell me what to say. It's getting really loud. Though I've lost you anyway. I still want to stay my case. Zero's normal. Days. Did you I know it. I still love you? Even though you don't believe me, Racials. it's true. Hey, all I have is one question, one question. Just listen, just listen to me. Listen to me, can't get over you. Right. And I don't we'll go back to the DS again because cold. I still feel like I'm hearing like some S's. I'm going to move this a little bit. Even though you don't believe me, it's true. Hey, all I have is one question, one question. Just listen, just listen to me. Listen to me, can't get over you. And I don't want right, to. So I might be happy cold. with that. I'm going to worry about subtracting some of the low end. Now, I don't want to do it too much because me, I have a very nasally, a mid range voice. So let's see. Let's play around with this. I want to lose my cool. Hey, somebody tell me what to say. Though I've lost you anyway, I still want to stay my case. Did you know I still love you? Yeah, let's mess with these Even mids. though you don't believe me, it's true. I'm going to find hey, a frequency that I, I don't really care for. All I have is one question, for. one question. Just listen, just listen to me. Listen to me, can't get over you. And I don't want to lose my cool. Hey, somebody tell me song. what to say. Though I've lost you anyway. Then I can do a high shelf. I still want to stay my case. Did you know I still love you? Even though you don't believe me, it's true. Hey. Right. So we're getting it brighter and it's starting to get more presence. It's definitely a little bit more louder than it was. Now, of course, you can uh, compensate for it, even if you get a good sound and you feel like it's not like loud enough. You can always turn the gain up, the level of the output, and I have those back at zero. All right. Now let's go to the doubler and see what that sounds like. So the presence is going to turn up the volume of the stereo field left and right, basically. And then this is going to widen it. So you'll see as I move the knob down, it's basically right in the center. And then as I move to the right, it's further spread out. All right. So let's start at the low end so we can hear the, really what it's doing. Somebody tell me what to say. Though I've lost you anyway, I still want to stay my case. And if you notice Did this, kind of makes it like a chorus effect. Love you. Now spread it apart. Even though you don't believe me, it's true. Hey, all I have is one question, one question. Just listen, just listen to me. Listen to me, can't get over you. And I don't want to lose my cool. Hey. Right, and it's just starting to bring the vocal. It's really bringing the vocal to life. I hope this video has been helpful thus far. Definitely consider giving it a thumbs up. That way it can spread to more people. And if you love tutorials that's dealing with digital audio workstation like Cakewalk and other type of production stuff, definitely consider subscribing. Okay, let's talk about the delay part. On the delay, there is a sync button. And the sync button is going to set to the host time. So I'm at 100 BPM, 100 beats per minute. When I put that sync on now, now if you don't have the sync on, you will notice that the time is going to be set to milliseconds, all right? Which is the amount of the signal gets delayed, all right? But now if you set it to sync, now you're going to see 
music and notation. So you see 30 second triplet, 30 second note, dotted, and then it goes all the way up to a whole note. Somebody tell me what to say. Though I've lost you anyway, I still want to stay my case. Did you know I still love you? That's an eight note triplet. Even though Let's you turn the level up don't some more so we can hear it better. Believe me, it's true. A. All I have is one question. Play with one that. question. Just listen. Just listen to me. Just die today. Listen to me. Hang it over you. Put on a quarter. And I don't want to lose my coat. Yeah. Somebody tell me what to say. And I might not like that. I can play with it some more. All right. So now let's say I've got the time at eighth note triplet and I have the feedback at 9%. All right, then I have my level at negative five. Now the filter mode, let's see how this sounds when I adjust that. All I have is one question, one question. Just listen, just listen to me. Listen to me, hang it over you. Each other at the bottom is lower down. Yeah, so I can tell as I raise it up that the brightness kick back in more. So let's listen to it now. Somebody tell me what to say. Though I've lost you anyway. I still, still wanna, wanna stay, stay my case. case. Did you know I still love you? Even, Even though you don't be brighter. believe me, it's true. It got a little darker. So you can play around with this stuff, you know, whatever way you want to have it. This is before. Somebody tell me what to say. With. Though I've lost you anyway. I still want to stay my case. Before. Did you know I still love you? After. Even though you don't believe me, it's true. Okay. This definitely makes a big difference, except for that bad note that I sang. Don't sing bad notes like me, okay? All right. If you want to tune in to the song, I have the song that's going to be on the video that you should see on Monday. Right? I'm going to start trying to set an actual time for this thing so that way you will know exactly when it's going to work. Um, so hopefully I can get it in by, you know, afternoon. So 12, 1, 2 o'clock, so somewhere around that time. I definitely will uh, put it in the community chat so that way you'll know when the video is getting ready to drop. You'll see it. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope this helped you out in some way. Definitely consider using this tool. If you're not quite sure how to find this, maybe you don't even know where the plugin is. You're like, I'm looking for it. I don't even see it in Cakewalk. You sure it's there? I have a video that shows exactly where this plugin is because there are several plugins that are in Cakewalk that you may be missing, but I can help you out with that. All right, love you all. Take care.